Peace and blessings, people. Peace and blessings. Assalamu alaikum. What it do? What it do? This is your host, Musa Azakar, man, bringing you flame on your device. So please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. You'll be left in that loop every time your boy drop that content and put it out there on the YouTube streets. And that way, if you hit that like button, and have your ear, you, if, if you hit the like button, uh, you can have your ears to the streets as long as you two don't be setting no pics. Because <laughs> they known for doing that, you feel me? But once again, want to give a shout out to the black YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, Kevin Samuels, man, and the, and the worthy ones that was before him. You know, that go for Ticket TV, Carcino, Jose Duke Jackson, and man, the league attorney, Mr. Palmer. They all wisdom. I mean, these brothers bring it, bring that flame. You feel me? Oh, I can't forget about the females too. Meet your ex, Pink Book Lessons, Sister D D, Melanie King. Oh my God! When I say these sisters bring that real out there, and you know what? They get a lot of flack. They get a lot of flack, man. When you out there doing your thing on YouTube, you especially when you're in a manner of not uh, unapologetic and you telling the truth out there, you going. Concise, you're going straight to the subject. No chaser. Uh, people going to feel a certain type of way. Uh, especially if uh, if you're hidden, if you're stepping on their feet, you feel me? With the truth coming out your mouth, what, what can they say? They ain't going to do nothing but complain. <laughs> but that's anybody, you know. But my particular video... My particular video, before I even get on this video, or well, I'm going to already put the copyright disclaimer on it, man. I've been on this trip. I I, I came across this individual, I, I want to say by accident. I think I was looking for Adrian Peterson highlights, but somehow it popped up as Jordan Peterson. Mm-hmm. When I tell you, this man here, to 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 you know, to the eye, you be like, oh, this little rinky dink man, I could just phew, knock him on out the way. Bullshit, bullshit. This man got God around him, and a and a, and a godlike type figure, and he is very inspirational and motivational, man. And that one I'm talking about is Jordan Peterson, Prof Professor Peterson, Doctor Peterson. And y'all know I'm 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 straight black black first rah rah. And this this is a white man, but guess what? Guess what, man? He is bringing that flame, and I believe this technique or ingesting. This information can peak and tweak your life every day. Just listen to the words of this man right here. And this is just one of the subjects you talk about. And he's talking about the best men are dangerous men. The best men are dangerous men and become a monster. It's already a copyright claim. You know what I'm saying? Copyright disclaimer, my mom. I got to put that on there. But check this man's mouthpiece out. Ooh, I'm going to chime in on it too. Beautiful. You said that a harmless man is not a good man. A good man is a very dangerous man who has that under voluntary control. How should people become more dangerous? Oh, becoming more articulate is definitely, I would say, that's the primary array of weapons. <sighs> y'all hear that? I've been saying it too, man. Broaden the vocabulary. You know, once you learn how to channel that anger out in words and you know what you're describing, maybe that'll make your heart rate go down a little bit. But we're going to let Professor cook. Go ahead, cook, Professor. So, I mean, physical prowess is something, and, and it's not nothing. That physical confidence that comes along with that as well. But the same thing replicated at the level of the ability to communicate and think and that's a way broader field of battle and opportunity. 
So, whoo! Learning how to communicate more effectively on a wide uh, scale and enhances and it unlocks that limitless potential. You know, just like you said, you know, working out, you can do so. You see results, you know, physical prowess. That's, that's cool. You know that's going to work, but imagine expanding your mind, expanding your vocabulary, and, and testing amongst people in a hierarchy in a type of world or in your environment. See if it may be room for advancement just by because of the way how you talk. You never know. Cook professor. Oh, this is one thing that isn't taught well, especially to boys. It's more important to teach it to boys, I would say, because they're more skeptical of such, of the educational enterprise in general, generally speaking, partly because they're less obedient, partly because they're less agreeable. That's particularly true for disagreeable boys. And agreeable boys get higher grades independent of their IQ and their, and their academic achievement because they're easier to deal with. So what do you tell disagreeable boys? There's nothing that makes you more formidable than verbal competence and being able to articulate, be able to think, to marshal your arguments. Right? Mm. It's a battlefield metaphor. Get everything in order. Get all your information straight you know, to marshal your forces. And so, I mean, that's part of the reason that rap artists are so popular, especially among disaffected young men, black and white alike, because they're unbelievably articulate. Right? They have this incredible verbal prowess. It's unbelievably attractive, you know, and it's associated with genuine artistic. <laughs> incredible verbal prowess. <laughs> and fellas, that's what we have to develop. Incredible verbal prowess. Extend your vocabulary. It's more appealing to to women and, and people in general when you can communicate without using a cuss word. Without saying, yo, hey. Trust me, I know I'm the mother. You see my videos, you, you, you notice. I'm straight hood, so hood, I'm making a sense, you know. I'm just so to the streets. <clears throat> but... If you can change it up and switch it up and, and and morph into something different, morph into a beast that's more, you can control that anger, control that inner, and bring out the more edified <clears throat> individual. <clears throat> you know, everything is to the highest level, describing things. Uh, I mean, just... Uh, Simple, uh, just about the news. Talk about the news, but do it in a more eloquent manner. Uh, situations on the streets. Uh, you know, <clears throat> but learning how to form your words. Say what you mean and not backing down off them either. And like my man said, get your arguments in a row. Get, get, your, get your information right. And you can go a long way. But go ahead and continue to cook, Mr. Uh, Professor and redemptive activity, often focusing on something that's approximately the voice of the underclass, let's say, but a powerful voice, right? And it's interesting to see how many young white guys identify with that. Was it Aldous Huxley that wrote Doors of Perception? Yeah. Yeah, so this is kind of an equivalent of that, right? That you have a experience which many people struggle to articulate you take the best of us, the one that has the most precise, most articulate, mm -hmm. erudite language, mm -hmm. you drop them in and you say, okay, show us what you've learned. Mm -hmm. This is the equivalent, but for just a different community, a different sort of life, that maybe you don't have the ability to describe what it feels like to live on a council estate in Manchester or in the, one of the neighborhoods of Brooklyn or whatever it might be. And then this person can and it feels like it's your voice. Yeah, well, you still, if you're a young man, you still feel alienated from your place as rightful heir of the proper kingdom. I mean, that's an existential truism for everyone, for every, for, particularly for every young man, because he is an outsider in many ways. He's young and juvenile and not very highly valued and, and then is, in some sense, hurt by the inadequacies of the current king, the current culture, and, and is easily turned against it because of that. And, that's the machinations of the evil uncle. That's the King Arthur story. That's the story of Horace, 
Horus and Osiris. It's an ancient, ancient story. It's the story of Sauron, and it's there all the time. And you see in that, in rap music, in hip hop, the, the, all of that alienation being given an articulated voice in, in an artistic sense. And that's a good example of the power of verbal facility. And that's the route to, let's say, marketing education to young men. It's like, you want to take your rightful place in the kingdom? It's like, get your tongue straight, man. Get it under control in the highest possible sense. We went to a comedy club, Tammy and I, in New York, the Comedy Cellar. It's a great comedy club. And the last comic was an English guy. And uh, he was not particularly physically prepossessing. And he, he made a lot of jokes about that. And it was quite funny. And then he divided the audience into five sections and he asked each section to toss up a topic, just to yell out a topic. And they were like random topics like the Kennedy assassination and electric lighting before 1890. Those were two of the topics. And the other three were just as diverse. And then he put on some beats and he did a, about an eight minute rap with every verse rhymed. And he tied the whole thing together at the end and ended at the end of the music all spontaneously it was unbelievable and that's logos man that's the redemptive power of the logos right there the magic word the sacred word it's just manifesting itself on stage it's something, very impressive something about that that does feel dangerous as well mm. in not in a i need to be concerned and this should be who did, did y'all peep game on that just because this man form his subjects and his words together eloquently, rhyme, put it in harmony, he had power. He became a monster, but it was controlled. I, I believe I understand that. Let that be continued. Let's, let's continue to cook. contaminated and walled off but in a way that you think that person has so much competence mm -hmm. that it it's flowing out of them mm -hmm. and you almost feel competent by being around them mm -hmm. so but you certainly feel competent by appreciating it yeah right because it speaks to the part of you that is capable of appreciating such things you think wow that's really something that's really that's an amazing display that's an amazing thing to see amazing right a very interesting word amazing and you're you're trapped and you're trapped by the charisma of that and that charisma, that's not nothing. That's, that's a signal of something redemptive occurring. That, that accounts for virtually all of the attraction of hip-hop and rap. It's the articulate, articulated voice of the struggling but worthy underclass. I suppose that's a good way of putting it. But those who are alienated from their rightful place. And so that verbal prowess is one of the ways they struggle up towards the light in a and, and that, that's a good example of that, of having that danger under control, because it's a dark genre in many ways, right? It's, it's a, there's a real undercurrent, an air of violence that surrounds that and its culture, like the punk movement in the, in, in, in the UK back in the late 70s, same, same sort of thing. But that capacity to express that in a poetic manner, in a compelling manner, Sid, or, uh, Johnny Rodden was great at that, is so intense. He has a song called Rise, which I used to show my my clients all the time when I was starting uh, uh, assertiveness training with them. I'd put on Johnny Rodden's Rise, and the line in there is, anger is an energy, and he's got these unbelievably intense eyes. Anger is an energy. You bet, and John Lydon, man, he could channel that like almost no one I've ever seen. He'd get that anger built up inside him, and then it was completely under control, and he expressed it in his music, and it's absolutely captivating unbelievably charismatic and i really liked his music that raw anger in the music that but it was it was in the bloody music wasn't it, it wasn't some random riot you know he transmuted that into something you know you can argue about the poetic merits of, of punk rock although i don't think you should i mean uh i did it my way sid vicious's version of i did it my way my god that's a work of genius that it's so it's so brilliantly satirical what someone's doing is they're refining it, they're distilling it yeah. down, and then they're directing it. So I went to a, a powerlifting competition a couple of years ago. There was this one guy there lifting. He holds a bunch of records in the squat, 
and he's a, a normal working class guy from a normal working class town on the outskirts of Newcastle. And watching that man warm up is something else. He's got a, a sacred playlist. Mm -hmm. He never listens to the songs apart from when he's about to step on to the lifting platform. Mm -hmm. He's got these headphones on and he's just walking up and down in the same way that you'd see a bull mm -hmm. ready, ready to go out, ready to go and chase something. Sound like me when I'm getting ready to go do my thing, man. You know, you get, you get channeled up. Man, this is some good information for men, y'all. I, I hope I am getting to the men. I mean, females, you might not like this video. It's not really meant for you all. But if you want to take the information, that's cool, too. But it's for men learning how to be a monster in a good way. Change your language up. Get the vocabulary up. Become an articulate beast. Uh, what did it say? Uh, man, just get your vocab game up strong. You know what I'm saying? Let's continue to cook this a little bit more. And he steps out on stage, and the hairs stand up on the back of your mm -hmm. neck. Mm -hmm. You're watching this guy channel Ray Fury. That's the god of war. That's Mars. Yeah, he's in touch with that. Mm. Unbelievable. And words, man. You go to war with words. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. There you have it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. You be left in that loop.